Man, tornadoes are weird. Okay, this morning I'm in Brownsburg, kind of in the north, northeastern part of Brownsburg in this warehouse area of Brownsburg. So it's really, really commercial through here or industrial, whatever you want to call that. Uh, right behind me is a big home goods distribution center and some other really large warehouses around here. But this is one of the places where you can visibly see the damage from a recent tornado. You know, there are a lot of things to think about whenever you're moving across the country or even not all the way across the country to someplace a little bit different. But one of the concerns out of quite a few different concerns that a lot of people have had, have found over the years is the fear of tornadoes. And do we have tornadoes? Uh, have I been affected by tornadoes? Or what does it look like whenever a tornado actually happens around this part of the country? Yes, I mean, as you can see right there behind me, this warehouse, at least a portion of it, was kind of obliterated. I can see a fan hanging down that's been torn apart. The side was torn off. Part of the roof was torn off. On the top, you can see some roof damage. But just like I said at the beginning of the video, tornadoes are really, really weird. So they are absolutely super scary. Whenever you're watching this video, uh, it's obviously going to be pretty far past when these tornadoes actually happen, but it happened just last week. And so they're starting to get all this stuff cleared up. But I remember these storms. We were at home. We were way east in Greenfield, but we had some pretty bad weather that night, just like they did over here in Brownsburg and even all the way up into Carmel. It was moving kind of in a northeastern direction. And they're weird because the tornado obviously hit right here in this particular area. But if you look around at all of the rest of the buildings here and even these trees, even the trees directly across the street, minus the ones right next to the warehouse, these things don't even look like they've been touched. And a lot of the other warehouses around here, they haven't been touched. And I can see just a, a little bit of roof damage on the one across the parking lot from me here. But all the rest of them, uh, with some exceptions to this one, there's another one just a little bit further to the, the west here that was damaged pretty significantly too. But it's so isolated a lot of times where the damage actually happens from a tornado. Of course, what's so scary about a tornado is the amount of damage they can actually do. So my answer when people ask about tornadoes here in the Midwest, it's, yeah, I mean, we definitely can have them but they're still really pretty rare. So I've lived in Indiana a long, long time, and I've been through some pretty scary storms, but I've never seen a tornado myself with my own eyes. But that doesn't mean there wasn't a tornado around somewhere. So yeah, we do have tornadoes from time to time, but even though we do have them, they're still really, really rare and in a number of ways. Uh, for one, most tornadoes, they can happen any time of year, but most happen in the spring. Right now, it's April when this video is being shot. So when you get into March, April and May, and this is when the science teacher, the old science teacher me would come out, but the atmosphere is still really, really cold from the winter. And so it's really super easy for hot air to rise into that cold. And there's some other factors involved, but you need a lot of lift and a lot of warm air that's wet rising into that cold atmosphere to get clouds for one, but to intensify into thunderstorms and really bad thunderstorms, the conditions are more ripe for that to happen during the spring. So you're limited a little bit by the time of year, even though again, they can happen any time of year really, but they're mostly happening during the spring. So they're fairly rare to occur in the first place, but the other part of a the statistically significant, I guess the quelling of fear of tornadoes is that when they do occur, most tornadoes are really quite small. 
like this one here, even though it did do some damage and was amazingly dangerous, it was still a very, very small tornado. So that means most of the damage is a lot of times really super isolated. And the crazy thing is that that damage is right there behind me. And again, these trees here, it's not like they've even been touched at all. And I don't recommend anyone actually being outside or in a car, but you could probably have been right here, really close to it, and no damage would have happened. So they're really, really strange. It's not like a, a hurricane that is essentially going to damage a really large swath that it passes through. Tornadoes are much more isolated. The other aspect is that most tornadoes actually hit in really super rural areas where there are very few people or no people at all. And it's kind of rare for a tornado to hit in a very, very densely populated area. Now, this one did. This is pretty densely populated. So the time this hit, which for some of these warehouses is pretty lucky, for some of them, it still had people working, but it was like 10 or 10.30 at night. So a lot of people were home. They were away from here, thankfully. But there was some damage to some homes, the roofs of homes nearby, uh, damages to a few other businesses nearby. But the time that it hit, everybody for the most part was back at their house and getting into their basement or getting into a, a middle room in their house, someplace that they were gonna be a little, hopefully a little bit safer. And the populated area of Carmel where it hit, I mean, that is just about as populated as you can possibly imagine, right in the, the midtown, downtown area of Carmel. I just drove over to Carmel, and I'm a little bit south of midtown that I mentioned, and also city center. And I can see the roof of the Palladium just off to my north there, but all of this, a lot of office suites, office buildings, and some pretty cool, interesting places too, like this Union Brewing Company right here behind me. This place is super cool, right on the Monon Trail. My wife and I, we've ridden our bikes up the Monon and stopped in there for, uh, for a beer before. Super cool, but that tornado hit right here. So there's some damage to a building just to the south and some roof damage to some other buildings, uh, pretty close to the side damage of a building just off to my south. So this would be one of those places that is super densely populated. There are a lot of people living here, a lot of people working through this area. And you know, the Monon Trail is right up here behind me, or in front of me, now behind me. So there's constantly people, but when that tornado hit, of course, like I said, it's, it was later at night. So most people were at home and, and away from this area. So should you fear tornadoes? Well. Yeah, you should fear tornadoes because they are really scary. And when this thing came through, especially when we knew the storm was gonna hit in some places that were really populated like this, I mean, that is scary. But statistically, they're not going to hit places like this all that often. So again, we don't live in fear of tornadoes, those who live here. But if tornadoes are an enormous fear for you, and it's just something that you don't feel like you could live with, well, places in the Midwest might not be for you because they're going to happen every single year. Indiana is not technically in Tornado Alley, but it's close to it. And so we have a good number of tornadoes every single year. Every single year you can count on it. But again, it goes back to those statistics. Most hit rural areas because quite frankly, most of the country is rural most of the country is, not just Indiana, but most of the country. They're usually quite small. And then even as you can see in a hugely populated area like this or dense area like this, the damage is usually really, really isolated. So if you have questions about tornadoes, 
I'm happy to chat with you. And I'm happy to go back into the old science teacher days and chat with you about some of the science of tornadoes and all of the things associated with that because that's, that's fun for me to, to actually talk about. But if it helps to quell your, your fears and maybe the unreasonable fears that you might have about tornadoes, then absolutely reach out. I'm happy to talk through anything with you. We'll catch you in the next one.